Hello, David Zritsky for the Bond Experience. Welcome back. You know, golf and James Bond, they go perfectly together. We, we've seen it obviously and clearly in Goldfinger when he was wearing the Stoke Pogis type hat from Lock & Co. I'll put that down for a second. And he had the shirt, he had the pants. And this is a, wow, gosh, this is Auric Goldfinger's putter. What am I doing? He's, he's not gonna be happy. Our job would hear about that. But here today, I'm talking about a company that has a long history, and yes, that history intersects with James Bond in this film, and that is Penfold. Now, we've talked about Penfold before, and we're a fan of the brand. Now, we've been a fan of the brand for a while because of the connection to James Bond, but now we've got a new reason to be a fan of the brand, because the brand has been reawoken, and the CEO of the brand is a local. Yeah, he's a guy that doesn't live very far from me. Um, wonderful guy, we've been chatting through emails, etc. and we promise one day we'll have an interview right here because he's in driving distance. So we're gonna entice him to come here and talk about what was the impetus to connect to the brand? What does he wanna do? What's the vision, the heritage behind that? And of course, what does it mean to be a Bond brand. For example, this was one of their releases that they had, and I believe that these might be sold out or you can find them in little hidden places, but this is a box of 007 Penfold goodness. We had a short little discussion on Instagram about this, but this is literally a bolus dose. If you are a golf fan or you're a fan of James Bond, you're gonna love everything about this. First of all, you've got a James Bond golf towel, which is ridiculously soft. And of course there it's got, <laughs> you're such a marketer, David, showing it upside down. Penfold 007, which is absolutely fantastic. You've got, and of course you do, the Penfold 007 balls themselves because you have to. Uh, here's my Penfold of hearts. It's got the quote on it. Somebody really thought about the packaging of this because I don't know, maybe they know that we're into packaging, but look at that, the Penfold 007, and then of course the Penfold balls inside, which are really good balls, but this has, um, it's a three-piece dual Ionomer, can you tell I don't play golf regularly? Golf ball, dynamic core, middle layer, cover. Uh, da -da -da -da. It's got a whole background on Goldfinger in what is universally recognized as cinema's most iconic golf scene. True. Very true. James Bond chooses a Penfold, Penfold heart in Goldfinger. After catching Goldfinger cheating, Bond brings a little gamesmanship of his own into play, switching balls and uttering the legendary line, here's my Penfold Hotch. You must have played the wrong ball somewhere on the 18th fairway. We're playing strict rules, so I'm afraid you lose a hole and the match. Worst Sean Connery ever. Because I don't know if you know, but I, I live in Pennsylvania. So very cool. We'll put those down very gently. And there was more in the box. There's this wonderful postcard, but behind the postcard is a ball marker that has 007 on there. And of course, Penfold Golf, 1927, when this brand was established. So it has that wonderful, rich heritage and history that we love in our Bond brands, right? We love the whole story. We love the journey that they've been on. And then finally in the box, don't mind the noise. We've got, because of course we do, these three and a quarter inch golf tees, natural bamboo, bag of 50 heart logo on the cup itself, which is very nice. I'm almost afraid to use these because, you know, they will get smashed and they're beautiful. Collector pieces, but also Penfold makes sure that even when they come out with pieces like that, it has a lot of usability. They just sent me a new package though, because you may have noticed we're in the 60th anniversary year of James Bond. Dr. No started it all and we are all celebrating and the brands are celebrating with us and there's some offerings. First of all, Penfold slipped in the box, just a little something, 1927 Penfold. And I just dropped the marker, hold it, hold for it. We're not editing anything because this is like if you opened it up yourself, it's got that on there for, as a ball marker and some beautiful wood tees. These are the more traditional ones. They're what I call non-bond. 
but we love them nonetheless. All our children are cute. Meh. But this is it. This is the thing. And it, good things come in small packages. And you're like, what is that? Is that, is that a Tiffany case? It's not. It's not. Although that's a good diamonds are forever reference. Now, this is something very special, unopened. You can see the cellophane around it. I'll take my trusty handy. And I'm going to be very gentle because if you're like me, and you may be if you're watching this channel. Yeah, just a, just a suspicion. I like to keep the packaging, especially when it looks good like this. This is uh, the 60th anniversary logo. We'll show it right there. 60 years of bond. We'll open the box. Nice little sleeve on there. 60 years of bond. So you're not going to forget it. And then on the back is a lovely shadowed pen fold, which you can barely make up on camera, but it's there. And it's actually uh, folded into the stock cardboard. So let's do this. Let's open it up. Nice tight. Ready? Ready? All right. If that doesn't hearken you back to Dr. No as a celebration, and you're seeing these dots, you saw them even in my opening, you're seeing these dots all over in the 60th year because that is the beginning of everything. When you think about the beginning of James Bond, you think about those dots starting at the beginning of Dr. No. And so what Penfold and, and Eon have done is they've put it on a ball marker. That is a metal piece that you put uh, to mark where your ball is. And then this, and the only reason I know what that is, is because Bond's apartment did a review on this. And I wouldn't have known. I would, I would have thought that something you put in the ground to show where your ball is from afar. This actually is a divot repair thingy. Is there a name? I don't know. But check it out. The back has the 60th on there. We'll show the reflection in there. Turn it. But look at that. And it looks like one of those magic tricks. Like, look, it's the same on both sides. See this side and this side. But this side and the... I never knew how to do that magic trick. But this actually, you... Um, the divot comes up, so you, you know, you hit your ball, divot goes flying, you need to repair the divot. It's the polite thing to do on a golf course, and you just kind of do this and put it right back so your hand doesn't get all dirty, and so it doesn't get in the way of the martinis that you're drinking on the golf course. I assume that's a thing. But that's really nice. And then this, heavy, by the way, like a heavy metal. Not that heavy metal. Again, ball marker has everything on the back, but it's heavy. It's got a really good weight. I don't know if it's a, a cast iron or if it's a, it's, it feels heavier than stainless steel, but it's a really good weighty piece. And this is a collectible. So it is limited. Um, it's not numbered limited, but there is a finite amount, which is a bit of a dust statement. I guess there's a finite amount of everything, but this is really cool because if you are thinking, I like to set up these scenarios of more than just you and I, because you and I are just like, you know, rabid. It's just like, oh my gosh, a 60th anniversary thing from Penfold, drool. Um, there's other people out there, for example, friends and cousins, sisters and brothers, business associates that play golf, and maybe they know that you're into Bond. And so imagine if you got them a business gift, either at an outing or just to say, hey, thought of us, thought of you, and you sent somebody on your business target list this. They know you're into James Bond, so there's the Bond connection, but if they're an avid golfer, they're going to love this piece. And I'm sorry, if you're a golfer, chances are you like James Bond. It's like saying, if you like to travel the world, you're into James Bond. I mean, first of all, I don't know who's not, it. well, maybe, maybe there's a couple people that are into My Little Pony instead of James Bond, but if you play golf, chances are you do like James Bond, so you can, this is the type of gift that transcends the typical Bond collector or the Bond fanatic even. So um, hats off, literally, it's right there on the ground. Hats off to Penfold. Thank you so much for sending these goodies. They will be cherished. They will be appreciated. And hopefully we'll be able to speak to the people at Penfold soon. And maybe, maybe they have other things on the horizon coming. We'll bring them to you here. It's what we do. In the meantime, this has been David Zeritsky for The Bond Experience, and we'll see you all real soon. Take care. Thanks for watching this episode. If you want to be 
up on the latest from the Bond experience, just click on this subscribe and subscribe to our channel. You're gonna get all the latest and greatest information plus some exclusive content. And by the way, speaking of content, here's something especially for you just because we know you. Talk to you soon.